Big news for Samsung users, One UI 7.0, based on Android 15, is almost here. Samsung just dropped some exciting updates about the rollout, and we've got all the details for you. Let's rewind a bit. The first beta version of One UI 7.0 launched for the Galaxy S24 series back in early December 2024. Since then, Samsung has released two additional beta updates, and now it looks like the beta program is wrapping up. That's right. Samsung has officially confirmed that the stable version of One UI 7.0 is on the way. In a recent press release, Samsung shared some interesting stats. Participation in the One UI 7.0 beta program was significantly higher compared to the One UI 6.0 beta program, so much so that Samsung had to close beta enrollments twice as fast. That's a huge response. The company also confirmed they've been gathering user feedback from the beta and are incorporating those suggestions into the final release. And here's the best part, all compatible Galaxy S series phones will receive the stable One UI 7.0 update by the end of Q1 2025. After that, the update will roll out to other eligible Galaxy devices. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on this major update, it's just around the corner. With the beta program nearing its conclusion, we're closer than ever to the official release. What are you most excited about in One UI 7.0? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates on One UI and more. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Today, we're talking about a small but awesome feature in One UI 7.0 that's going to make a huge difference if you love customizing your phone's look, especially if you're all about wallpapers. We all know that finding the perfect wallpaper can be tricky, especially when your home screen is crowded with app shortcuts and widgets. A busy wallpaper can make your app labels hard to read, which can be super annoying, right? Well, Samsung's got your back with a handy new feature. The ability to blur your wallpaper before you even set it as your background. In One UI 6, we had some options for applying effects like turning the wallpaper black and white or adding a color filter. There was even a blur option, but it was limited to images with people and only blurred the background. One UI 7.0 changes all of that. Now you can blur any wallpaper, not just images with people. And if your photo does feature people, you get a choice. Blur the whole image or just the background. Why is this such a game changer? It allows you to keep your home screen looking clean and organized while still showcasing a beautiful wallpaper. The blur effect makes sure your app icons and labels stay legible, no matter how intricate or busy the wallpaper is. Here's a quick example. On the left, we've got a home screen with a busy wallpaper and icons that are hard to read. But on the right, we've applied the blur effect and voila, the app labels pop and the home screen looks sleek without losing the wallpaper's charm. This is just one of the many small changes in One UI 7.0 that are designed to enhance the overall user experience. Whether you're into minimalism or just want a cleaner look, this new feature makes it so much easier to customize your phone while keeping it practical. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going to be using this blur effect on your home screen?